Hi folks, okay, we're back. So dad just did a great uh, job on his last two videos on our new router base, which is uh, actually a base plate for the DWP uh, 611 uh, or the uh, Porter Cable 450. Now this, um, obviously, this has to be modified like you saw on the other videos and like dad talked about on the last one. So uh, you, may be ha you may have a router already that you like, but this is one that I really like for, for doing detailed stuff, the profiling and for the, the inset letters. So, and we're going to get into that on this, on this video. So uh, that router base, man, I've, I've been playing with it a little bit, and it really works out well. So if you, know, if you guys want one, just let us know. If it's not on the website, again, like Dad said, it's 25 bucks. If you want it and you don't see it on the website yet, just give us a call or shoot us an email, and we can just do it that way before, you, before it's on the website. So just give us a call and order it over the phone. That's probably the best way to go. Okay, so what this video is going to be all about is router bit depths. I get a lot of questions on that. And again, I, I've probably said it before, but I'll say it again in case you haven't seen those other videos. I don't normally go by the depth of the cut, but we're, we're going to do that on here so you can see how I figure out how to cut deep. Now, the first uh, disclaimer is if you're not using the router bits that, that we suggest, our, our recommended router bits, then this doesn't mean anything to you. This is based on our profile bit, our 90 degree V groove, and our 60 degree V groove that are on our website. So that's based on that. If you're using some other straight bits or different V groove bits or different cutters, I really don't, I, I can't tell you what depths are gonna be. I, I base everything on the router bits that we would use and we like and that are on our website. So. That being said, again, I don't go a lot by the depth of the bit. I go more by the width of the cut. So here's what I'm going to do. Dad, can you zoom in on this uh, profile bit or have you already while I was yeah, I, I did, and then I zoomed back out. So okay, I, so you guys can see I'm this. I'm zoomed in on it now. This is our regular profile bit, guys, that, uh, that we have on our, on our website. So this is kind of specialized to us. Um, so this is profile bit. Now what this bit is used for is strictly for profiling around the outside of outset letters. You can use it for inset letters, however we don't normally do that. It's just based on outset letters. So I have a couple, oops, sorry that kind of rocked on me. I have a couple just scrap boards that I laid some letters out on and uh, one of these I'm going to cut all outset letters, one of them I'm going to cut all inset letters, but inset letters is going to be on a, on a different scene. But on these outset letters, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and set up and cut these outset letters. I'm going to set my, get my hat off, get my, uh, <laughs> get my cheaters on. You guys know all about these, so get my cheaters on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this little one inch. Are you with me, Dad? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to cut this little one inch. This is inch and a half, and this is two inch. But this one inch is a little bit different. I wouldn't cut this at the same depth as I would this one or this one. So I'm going to look at my router bit right down the edge of the base, and I'm going to kind of guesstimate by looking at it if that's about right. And I think it is, but I may adjust it after I get in and, and make a cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and set up and, and cut this E, and we're going to see where this, uh, where this depth is. actually set just about right. I could make it a little bit less.
So there's my first cut on that E. Now let's find out, again, I didn't measure, I don't normally measure the depth of my cutter. Um, I go by the width of the cut, but I'm going to go ahead and measure this so you guys can see exactly how deep it is. It is just barely over an eighth of an inch deep. Let me measure that one more time. If you guys don't know what this is, this is actually, uh, what do they call this, Dad? Veneer caliper. Veneer calipers. So it's just barely over an eighth of an inch. It's about... Uh, uh, 130,000? Yeah, about 130. Yeah. Eighth of an inch is what, 125? 125 is in yeah, one Yeah, it's about 135, actually. It's about 135. Now, that would not be good enough for me to bring my, my background or my cleanup bit and not take a chance in nicking those letters. So I will go around that again. What I'm going to do is I am going to set my depth a little bit deeper. Again, kind of eyeballing it where I think it's going to be about right. And I'm going to go around it again and make kind of a what I call a buffer zone around that letter so that when I'm using my, my background bit and going around, I won't have to get that close to that cutter. You'll see what I'm doing right here. Okay, so now, I don't want to move that. Are you on that, Dad? Yes. Okay, so now let's find out what depth that second cut was. So I, I'm right out in here where I made that second cut. And that is right at 200 thousandths. That's a little over 3 sixteenths. So a little over 3 sixteenths. It's right at 200 thousandths. Spoken like a real machinist, Dad. Well, 316 is 172, and if you're at 200,000, it's a little over 316. It's right at, at uh, 200,000. Now, the, the, other, the other factor that you have to think about is as this gets sharpened, and that dimension might change, it might get a little fatter, it might get a little narrower, because when we sharpen them, we generally do them by hand. So that may, that may change a little bit on the depth. And that's why, guys, I always go by the width of the cut. I don't really go by the depth. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it right where it is right now and see if it's set about right for me to cut this next cutter. So that's the way we do the one inch letters, guys, in two cuts. The, one, the first cut and then set it deeper and go around the second that's cut. For the outset letter. For the outset letters, yep. Now that doesn't feel, doesn't look about right. I'm going to set it a little bit deeper. what that depth is. Now that might have been even a little deeper than I needed to go, but it, it cut just fine. That is set just a hair over a quarter of an inch. So at a quarter of an inch you'd be just fine on that. And that gives you a wide enough line that you can get in there and, and cut, that, uh, cut the background around that. That would be just fine. Now, just as a kind of a by the way, you guys are probably wondering why I cut that E the way I did, where I went around here, all the way around, and then I did the inside. For so many years, I cut redwood, 
and redwood sometimes would be chippy on these legs. So what would happen is if I come down here, come around, and then I come in and do that leg, a lot of times I would lose that leg right off of there. So I got to where I cut it more like an O, where I would just do it all the way around, and then I would do my inside and never, never really have any chipping, and then I would cut those legs, cut those legs uh, off there and cut that gap. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this other one. I'm going to leave it right where it is from a depth perspective. And then we'll, uh, we'll get into the cleanup part. Apologize for the camera being a little herky jerky, but <laughs> sometimes it's kind of kind of hard to really focus without it jerking a little. Well, it probably was my routing too. I'm a little herky jerky on my routing too. <laughs> okay, so um, so that pretty much gives you the depth, guys. The smaller letter that you go, the the kind of the narrower cut you want, so you can get inside those tight spots. And the same rule applies when you're doing. Uh, when you're doing artwork or something like that. So now what I'm going to do, we're going to, uh, I'm going to change the cutters. Uh, I'm going to go to the, the, the background, the 90 degree V groove uh, on the next scene. So we'll be back in just a sec. By the way, yes, this router base, plenty of visibility it was showing the letters. Oh yeah. Uh, it's just absolutely super. Oh, it's, I love this thing. Yeah. The control. Yeah, this new router base is going to be really, uh, yeah, going to really, really help on sign carving. And we do have some students. This isn't necessarily our original idea. This design is, but we've had students in the past that have made something similar to this with big handles. I kind of like the small handles. So this is kind of a... Um, our take on a different kind of router base that some of you probably may have done yourselves already but for you guys that don't want to have to put handles on these actual router bases that was kind of a pain this is really a good alternative for you so now we're going to shut this down and come back on with a new bit in okay guys so here is our 90 degree v groove bit this is the one that we use mostly to do the background or the cleanup around outset letters. Now again, this is, uh, this is our bit, so this is the one that we recommend, and our depths and widths will be based on this. So now you'll notice this is a different router. This isn't the little, uh, the little DeWalt. I recommend for using this little, the small compact routers, I recommend doing uh, profiling on outset letters and then inset letters for this bit or for this router. When I'm doing a lot, taking out a lot more wood, what I suggest is have a little bit bigger router. This is uh, that little round top, but the, the one that dad mentioned in the former video the 690LR is a great router, takes the same, uh, the same router base. So either this one, uh, which I think is actually a discontinued mono, or the, the Porter Cable 690LR uh, is a great router too. I just happen to have the, the bit set up in this one. So again, to reiterate, when you're doing heavier cuts, like doing the background around outside letters, or even the scalloping, or, uh, or heavy, heavy chamfering, I use a bigger router. I only use the little compacts for the, um, 
for the outset letters and inset letters. And then also this router or the 690LR for uh, doing the cutting the shapes that take, the, um, that take those template guides. So uh, definitely and with that, with that other base in it because this is a, uh, a base made for just being able to see what you're doing there. So um, actually I'll show those real quick so I can get that kind of out of the way. So there's the base that, that comes on this router bit, or on this router, and uh, that's the one that these will fit into, like Dad was talking about on the, last, uh, uh, on the last video. So these are made to fit into that router, um, and this base is the one that comes with this. This plate comes with this base. Now I'm just rambling. So I'm going to get that out of the way and cut some background around there. So anyway, now you know. When you're cutting your shapes, or when you're cutting background, or when you're cutting scallops or chamfering, I use the bigger router. All right, so now, again, I'm going to kind of just eyeball where I want this to be, and then we'll find out what depth that is. That looks about right. You with me, Dad? I'm with you, son. All right, here we go. I hate to tell you this, son, but I think the bearings are going out on that router. Yeah, yeah, that router's on its last legs. Yeah, you, you could hear, hear you could hear it chirping. Yeah, it 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 is, but uh, I like to get my money's worth, so it's been a good router. I've carved thousands of signs with that router. It's still it's still running, so I'm gonna stay with it. All right, so now let's find out how deep I actually went with that 90 degree V groove. You can you notice that I did the same depth all the way around here. Let's see what that, that is. That is um, right around 200 thousandths. Let's try it one more time. Let's make sure. Yeah, a little less than a quarter of an inch, right around 200 thousandths. I like it about that depth. If I was cutting, uh, cutting all bigger letters, I might go a little bit deeper, but see it, See how it leaves that step in there? I don't know if you can see that. Dad. Yeah, it shows up good. Son. Can you see that? that yeah. That step in here is what I really like. And it cuts deep enough that you, you're not going to have many high spots. I, don't, I can't see any high spots in this right now. Maybe a couple little ones there. I can just chip off with my nail. Um, and you won't have any high spots. So that's about where my depth is. Um, on doing my cleanup on those. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my other little DeWalt router and we're going to do some inset letters. So we'll be right back at you. Okay guys, so this is our uh, this is our 60 degree V groove. It's got three flutes on it. I really like it. It works really really well. Um, so this is the one that we do uh, only only inset letters and you can do just about almost any size inset letters with this. What I'm going to do here is just the same sizes, the one inch, inch and a half, and two inch, and I'm going to take them one at a time. So I have it set, obviously, right now so you can get a vision of it with the, with the camera. And now I'm going to set the depth for that one inch letter and take them one at a time, and we'll see what I, uh, what I set it at. This, this one gets a little trickier for me to get it perfect right off the bat, but let's find out. That looks about right. Eyeball, that looks about where I want it, but let's find out.
Oh, hang on just a second. Sorry, guys. That's a little better. Okay, so let's find out how deep that is. Now, one thing to remember, guys, on inset letters, because it's cutting out a V groove, when you spray that and sand it off, it's going to be a little bit narrower than, than how thick it is right now. So the, the width of this cut right here is going to shrink a little bit as you take a little surface off the board. So you always want to be a little bit deeper, a little bit wider than the way you want the letter to look when you're all done with the, with the carving. Does that make sense, Dad? Yeah. Or, yeah. or did, it, uh, did I just confuse the heck out of people? Oh, you're rambling. Yeah, I'm rambling. All right, let's see how deep we are. We are at about uh, 150 thousandths right there. So what is that, Dad? It's a That's little... Between an eighth and, and three sixteenths. Yeah, so it's a little over an eighth. Let me measure it one more time. Yeah, that's right at 100 and... Actually, 160 thousandths. That's almost 3 16 172 yeah. would be 3 16 Okay, so that's how deep we go on the one inch inset letters. Again, the more we, we like I mentioned before, the more we uh, touch this up and sharpen it, the more it's going to change that angle. So that won't always be the case. And I actually, I think I've sharpened this a couple times. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm going to go a little bit deeper and carve that inch and a half letter. Okay, so let's find out how deep we went on that one. Now you'll notice, guys, when I carved this, I went down this side, and I, I cut to this line, and then I needed a little bit more, so then I went down the other side. I'll be able to, I'll have to do that a lot more on this one over here. That's about 190 thousands. Yep, about 190. Do it one more time. Yep, right at 190. Okay, moving on. Last one. I'm going to set it a little bit deeper yet. That is at about 220. Add 210. Let's make that 210. Yeah. About 210 thousands. Okay. So you guys now have an idea of 
really the depth really doesn't matter at least to me it doesn't it's more about the width of the cut but many of you ask you know how deep do you go now you kind of have an I gauge about how I do it I normally eyeball it what looks right to me because I've carved so many thousands of signs but again I, I made a measurement for you so you can kind of get an idea there but again it's more the width of the cut and again if you're using somebody other somebody else's bits especially a straight one then it really wouldn't make any difference as far as as the the width of the cut or the depth that's this is just based on using our route of it so uh what am i forgetting dad that pretty much covers it son okay i'm gonna go get some of this sawdust off me so um Again, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. You know what it is. It's right up behind me. Um, like our Facebook page, and we got a lot of great stuff coming up. I'm, I'm going to do a, another video, I think, here in a few minutes. Uh, I got an idea on another one that we get some questions on. So uh, we will see you on the next one. Have a great one, you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.